Hi, David Coder with Decoder Marketing here. I'm going to show you how to create an on scroll animated header using Wix code, uh, much like the element of design we get with our WordPress sites. So jump into your Wix editor and follow along. Okay, inside your Wix editor, it's going to be important that we need to enable two things here. So we're going to go over tools. We're going to make sure that developer tools is selected as well as our properties panel. So we'll just check mark that. What we'll do is we'll get back to our home screen here. And there's a few things that we're going to need to, to make this work. Uh, we're going to need a small strip as I have labeled all of these. So all these elements are already labeled. We're going to need a small strip. We're going to need logo, our menu, and any other elements that you're going to want to have make this uh, work and function the way you want it to. Uh, in this case, um, we have our large logo, we have our menu, our small button, our large button, and our slogan. So from top to bottom, it's small strip, slogan, large button, our large strip, large logo, our large navigation menu, and our small button. Most importantly, we need to make sure that we have our anchor. Without the anchor, this won't work. Okay, and you also need to make sure that you're enabling your header as a frozen position. If you don't want to have a frozen header, that's also not going to allow this to work. So what we're going to do first is we're going to basically take our small strip, okay, and we are going to add that directly into uh, our header. And attached to the header. We're going to make sure that when it's, once it's attached, we're going to want to select under our properties, we're going to want to select hidden on load. Okay. Next, we're going to want to move our slogan into the small strip along with our large button. Once we get those worked in there, we're going to align them. All right, once we have those aligned, uh, basically under our properties for our uh, big contact button, we want to make sure that it's hidden on load. And we also want to make sure that we select enable by default. We don't check box that element there. Uh, this will not function. It will not give us any ability uh, to make any action once it's live. So we're going to want to check box enable by default and because we also want this to be hidden on load we want to make sure that we select hidden on load next what we're going to do is we're going to take our large strip which in this case uh, we do not have a color for our large strip we want it to basically be uh, not seen on load so we went to our basically change strip background and we took our color and made it uh, zero percent so that we can see through there's no need to checkbox any of these for the large strip. Just make sure that it's attached in the header. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our logo. And we're also now going to throw that into uh, the header. We're going to take our menu and place that into the header as well. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do last but not least uh, we're going to take our small contact button. We're also going to throw that into the header. Uh, we have one other element, which is our anchor. We'll get to that in a second, but let's align these real quick. Let's try and align these uh, so that way it looks nice and clean. So now that we have these aligned, uh, it looks clean and professional. We also want to make sure that our button here on properties enabled by default. Again, we have that unchecked. Uh, we're still not going to be able to make an action on that, that particular button. Uh, real quick, I'm going to want to go through this in a second here. Uh, let's enable that before I forget. very last element we want to add to this is our anchor. And if you remember, my small strip, the height of it was 70. So I want to basically put this anchor at the bottom of that first strip. 
Okay. What we're going to do then is uh, every element here is labeled. Small contact button as I roll over this, my large navigation menu, our logo. Uh, we're going to need to make sure that those elements there, the properties that are labeled here, we need to make sure that they're also labeled in the code that we're going to add in a very short uh, second here. Uh, but first, before we do that, I want to show you uh, two important things here uh, that if we do not add, this will not function correctly. So on the anchor, we're basically going to go to on viewport and we're going to want to add, okay, uh, a command here. So let's see here, let's get this to move up. And what we want to do is we're going to add our event here. Uh, in this case, I want to take away the one, but I want to go in front of view and I want to say on. Okay. I want to do the same thing with viewport leave. Okay. Type on. Okay, so that way. From left to right, we have anchor header, which is the property name, and it's going to go to on viewport leave. Okay, this is showing that it's attached to the page. In reality, it's not. We have it on the header. So what we can do is, is we can erase this code here, this code that we have on page. Erase it. Okay. Uh, let me bring this back up here. So that way there shouldn't be anything under page. There should be no code in here. Okay. Uh, let's drop this down. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the code that we need to write and place under uh, our site. The reason we're putting it on site is so that it goes on the entire site. The header is for the entire site. Okay. So that's why we're going to put it here. This is the code that we need to place in this section. Okay, I have two examples here. Uh, my first example is if you have uh, different elements on the um, the viewport, enter as opposed to leave. If you have different elements, I have two separate types of code here. The first type is again if you have different elements like us. Okay, we're not doing a large uh, logo to a small logo and a large um, menu to a small menu uh, we're doing a little bit differently but we still need to make sure that we have our small strip our slogan our big contact button under show and then we do the same down below on the viewport enter we want to make sure that they're hidden okay so we're going to hide those same properties and then for the ones that are going to leave when we start to scroll we're going to make sure that the logo, the larger strip, uh, the, the navigation menu, and our small contact button all hide all right, when we leave the viewport. Okay, And then down on uh, the load, once we enter this page, we want to make sure that those are seen. So we're going to command them to show. Okay, So what we do is we copy all of this here, and we're going to paste it right into our site code. Okay, so again, we have nothing on page, we just need it on site. Okay, now if you have the version of uh, big logo, small logo, the large menu, small menu, uh, what you can do is take this code right here. Okay, notice that, you know, all the properties are the same, but opposite down here. Okay. If there's anything that's off, if it's misspelled or your properties here, if, uh, for example, small strips is, you know, not with an S and you have an S, it's not going to work properly. Everything needs to match. Your, your code needs to match these properties that you see up here uh, when you roll over. So if we have it done correctly, what we'll see uh, is this Beautiful, beautiful new element of design. So let's take a preview here and take a look at our work and make sure that our code is functioning correctly as well. 
uh, and it looks like it is firing correctly. So what we can do is scroll. As we scroll, transitions over to our slogan and our call to action. Come back up. And computer's running a little slow, sorry. Uh, but logo, everything's back, everything functions. Now, one thing I will note, uh, we do a lot of testing um, and we like to use uh, this company when we're testing and we'll throw our domain in here. And I can tell you that this particular piece of code, adding it to the header, does not and has not, so far from what we've seen, slow down the uh, load time for your site. Right here, we're at a you know a minute or excuse me, one second, uh, 1.45 seconds. Um, so by adding that code, it did not slow down our load time. So the search engines would be happy to hear that. Uh, going back into this again, you know this is what it looks like. Um, you know without that feature, and this is what it looks like with that feature. Okay. So again, a little clean. There's some little glitches there. Uh, but let's actually go back to the editor real quick. Uh, as some of you may think, that looked kind of uh, glitchy. Let's just uh, republish it again. Let's take a look at our live site. do is we'll get this to load here. Now that we have it loaded, there you go folks. The on scroll animated header now looks nice and clean, nice call to action, and right back up to the top. If you have any questions, uh, feel free you know to comment below, uh, jump over to our website, uh, subscribe uh, to our uh, YouTube channel for more videos as we're going to go through more of Wix code. But mainly our expertise is internet marketing, so there's a lot of tips and tricks that we're going to release uh, through our channel in 2018. Thank you for following along and uh, look forward to uh, seeing your work of art uh, post, post it down in the um, comments below. Thank you.